Hi guys, welcome to sixth grade, chapter three, lesson 10. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. It says Sonia and Lucas walk from the school to the library. They walk five blocks south and four blocks west to get to the library. If the school is located at nine, negative one on a coordinate map, what are the map coordinates of the library? Well, so we can do it this way. It's a little bit tricky. I also threw it out on a map for us um, so these ones are going to be the purple ones here. So the school and the library. Okay. So we can either use the grid paper to take a walk and do it that way, or we can do it this way. So this way is going to be, we need to find the coordinates. Okay. So when you have a negative and a positive, then you subtract. Okay. So five. 9 minus 4 is 5. That's the difference there. Okay. When you have two negatives, you add them together. Okay. Okay. So you should have 5, negative 6. Okay. And if we come over here, then the library is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Five, negative six. Okay. All right. So on a coordinate map, Sherry's house is at the point um, of 10, negative two. And the mail is at the point of negative four, negative two. If each unit on the map represents one block, what is the distance between Sherry's house and the mall? Well, you'll notice that both of these are negative two. Done. Now I just need to know the difference between negative four and 10. When you have a negative and a positive, you add them. So that's gonna be 14 blocks, okay? Remember that when you are doing a negative and a positive, okay, if that zero, well, 10 is way down here and negative four is over here. So I don't just have to get back to zero. I also have to get all the way over there. That's why we add them together, okay? Okay, Arthur left his job at five, four on the coordinate map and walked to his house at five, negative six. Each unit of the map represents one block. How far did Arthur walk? Well, you'll notice five and five cross them off, okay? Four and six, 10, blocks. Negative and a positive, you add them. Okay. All right. The fire station, which I have done in green here. Okay. Is located two units east and six units north of the hospital. And it tells us where the hospital is. The hospital is at negative two, negative three. Okay. So when I go two units east, that way, you'll notice it's that on the corners here, I wrote no, N, S, W, and E, north, south, west, and east, okay? And so you'll notice that if I go east two and up one, two, three, four, five, six north, then I get to zero, three. So that means that the fire station is at zero, three, okay? It's telling us six units north, two units east, okay? So it's giving us the information we need, okay? Again, Xavier's house, which I've done in orange here, is located at four, six, okay? Xavier's house, four, six. Michael's house is 10 blocks west and two blocks south. Well, going 10 blocks over this way and then two down leaves me at negative six, four. There we go. Okay. So, again, on a coordinate map, the pizzeria is located at 9 3. The pizza being delivered to to a house located at nine negative three, which unit represents, each unit represents one mile. How far is the pizzeria from the house? Well, see those nines? Identical, three plus negative three 
six miles. Three and three. Positive and a negative, you add them together. Six miles. Okay? All right. So we're going to go into the back. Lesson check. You guys are going to do those. You totally can. Okay? We are going to go down to spiral review. And it says on a grid, Joe's house is marked at negative five, negative three. Andy's house is marked at one, negative three. What's the distance? So negative five, negative three. One, negative three. What's the difference? Okay, those threes, negative three, the same. Negative five, positive one, add them together. Six. And I guess we're going to just do blocks. Or units. Blocks or units. Okay. In the last two years, Mary grew two and a quarter inches, Kim grew 2.4 inches, and Kate grew two and an eighth inch. Write the amount that grew in order from least to greatest. So, we are going to use some scrap paper and turn them all into the same thing. So, they both start with two. So, I'm not going to worry about the twos. Okay? I'm going to worry about the point four, the one fourth, and the one eighth. Okay, so I actually, I'm not really going to need scratch paper for this because I know that one fourth, when I cut something into one fourth, that's like 25 cents. So it's going to be 0.25. So I have 2.4, 2.25, because that's one fourth. Okay, and then one eighth is going to be even smaller than that. Okay, so write the amount they grew from least to greatest. Two. One eighth, that's the smallest one. Okay, two and a quarter, because that's the 2.25, and two is smaller than four. And then 2.4. Okay, all right. A jar of jelly that weighs 4.25 ounces costs $2.89. What is the cost of one ounce of jelly? So, two, eight, nine. Four, two, five. Okay. I just did that backwards. Yep. Nope. Did I? No, I didn't. Silly me. Okay. So we are going to come over here and we're going to write down our multiple of 425. Oh, by the way. We can't have a decimal outside of the box. So I went one, two, which made me go one, two, which is why I don't have any decimals here. I'm gonna go ahead and put one right here just so that I've got it. Um, but I'm gonna come over on the side and I'm gonna write down my multiples of 425. So I know that my next one is gonna be 850. And I think the next one's gonna be 1275, but we'll see. Yep, 1275. Okay, 1,700, and 2,125, just in case, okay? So, 425, not going to go into 2, placeholder, not going to go into 28, placeholder, not going to go into 289, placeholder, add a zero, into Oh, goodness, maybe I do need to do another one. Okay, so 425 times 6. 2, 5, 5, 0. 425 times 6. 2, 9, 7, 5. Okay, notice I'm using my calculator for my multiples and not to do my math. Okay, so. 2,890, it looks like the closest I'm going to get is this one because 2,900 is too big. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times, 6 times 425 was 2, 5, 5, 0, subtract. 0 minus 0 is 0, 9 minus 5 is 4, 8 minus 5 is 3. Okay, so that is less than that. I'm going to go ahead and... Bring down another zero, and I'm going to take my handy-dandy calculator. 
and I'm going to multiply my 425 by 8, and I'm going to get 3400. So, okay, so your answer can be dollar sign 0.68, or it can be 68 cents. Okay, you take your pick. Okay.